Bree delivers bad news to Leah, Justin has suffered a dip in cardiac function, a sign that he could have sustained damage to his heart. Leah can barely bring herself to be separated from him to talk to the police about their ordeal with Vita Nova. When she returns and Justin's away having a scan, Leah panics, and it's clear that her recent trauma has had a lasting impact. When Bree tells Leah it might be time to say goodbye to Justin, she simply refuses. At Justin's bedside, Leah tells Theo about her proposal and Theo is optimistic. But soon Justin's condition deteriorates further, and he gently encourages Leah to call family. Distraught, Leah snaps. She steps out of Justin's room for a minute, just as Alf arrives, and unable to keep it together any longer, she collapses in his arms. At the hospital, Alf, Leah, and Theo speak to an unresponsive Justin when he takes another turn. Bree rushes in to try to save his life, divulging to the family that Justin's heart is failing. Meanwhile Justin is transported to an eerie church filled with mourners. When he glimpses a photo of himself, it begins to dawn on him that he's at his own funeral. Justin fails to make his loved ones hear him, but it is Leah snapping mid-eulogy to call him a coward, that fills him with the strength to survive. Suddenly, Justin wakes up, still in hospital, his family and friends gathered by his bedside. Amongst joyful celebration, Theo spills the beans about Justin and Leah's wedding. Everyone is thrilled they're getting married, but Justin seems suddenly reserved. Only later, when Justin is alone with Leah, he tells her he won't hold her to the proposal as she only asked because he was dying, leaving her crushed. Elsewhere, Mackenzie picks up on something between Tane and Felicity when she pulls out the photos of her niece. Tane is quick to spill the beans that they're trying for a baby, and Mackenzie couldn't be more thrilled. But Felicity is filled with dread by more baby talk. She continues to dodge the subject at work until Mackenzie discovers Felicity's contraceptive pills. Mackenzie makes it clear she can't condone Felicity's lies and soon Felicity tells Tane they need to talk.